What's up, y'all? This is Stephen Anthony Lawrence, and you're watching Kendall Talks TV. Preview. Grocery bills have just gone through the roof. You got any honey mustard? Beans. Do you ever eat at home? Yeah. My mom says I can really put it away. What's up, guys? It's your host, Kendall Tucker, and today we've got a very talented actor with us. He's most known for his role, Beans, on the hit Disney show, Even Stevens. But you can see him in movies such as Cheaper by the Dozen, Cat in the Hat, Rebound, Kicking and Screaming, The Amanda Show, and much, much more. Today we got Stephen Anthony Lawrence with us. How's it going, brother? What's good, man? It's going good, man. Trying to live it up out here in quarantine, California right now. I hear you, man. You being safe? You staying inside? Washing my hands uh, front to back is what they say, right? Wash your hands front to back, something like that? Yeah. Something like that. Cool. Wash your hands as long as you're washing your hands. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm still learning. I, I, I used to watch back to front, but this whole quarantine, I learned it's front to back. So I'm mm -hmm. learning things every day, man. <laughs> I hear you, brother. So um, I want to know, and I'm sure the fans want to know as well, what you've been up to? How's it been going? It's going good, man. Honestly, you know, um, I've been doing like online acting lessons now for like the last three years. And everybody's now is just kind of getting on my, 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 you know, my, my speed. So it's kind of funny. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's well, like, yeah, cool. I've been doing this. <laughs> yeah. So the COVID-19 hasn't slowed that down any because it's been online. A lot of your acting shop. Oh yeah, dude. It's all on Skype, you know, you know, you know, rent, rent space. Number one is crazy out here in LA. So, you know, what I do do is I just do here at home or on Skype. So it's, you know, it's that's just how it's how how it's gonna be until you know, pending future. Yeah, well, that's what's up, man. So, how did you get introduced into acting? Oh God, um, honestly, like I, I was always a ham as a kid. I, I still am. Um, so I was doing like like baby modeling when I was like three years old, and then it just kind of like oh, wow. progressed to commercials, and then like I just grew up acting. I don't know. And I still do it. And it's probably a good thing I got in it young because I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing or doing now, bro, to be real. So, yeah, <laughs> just I grew up. You. I hear you. Yeah, it seems like the whole world has kind of watched you grow up because you started so young. Every movie, it's like, oh, he's getting a little bit older. He's getting a little bit older. Like, <laughs> yeah, and that shit really sucks growing up on camera, dude. There's like, you know, you don't, you don't leave anything to the imagination. You know, you see all the fucking weird faces, you know, weird years, puberty, all that fun stuff. You yeah. know, watch, watch my hair, lose, you know, every follicle lose its hair, you know, in each episode of Even Stevens. So. <laughs> I hear you. So, you know, you've been in tons of films, but I'd say your biggest, most memor uh, memorable role would have been Beans from Even Stevens. I'm still seeing memes with your face on it. Can you believe after all these years, Beans from Even Stevens is still being brought up? No, dude, I can't. Honestly, <laughs> I, I had no idea it would be this. On, to be real, when I auditioned for Beans, it, it was a guest star possibly reoccurring. Oh, wow, like, really? Yeah, it, yeah, so it was like possibly... Like it was like you're for for sure gonna be in one episode, maybe two or three, and then it turned out to being you know a, like a series regular on the third season. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It ended up being such a big hit. Yeah, I didn't think it would be. Well, honestly, like I, I've seen a couple episodes of the show and I knew it was gonna be cool, just because I could see a lot of the imp you know improvisation that was going on. I'm going okay, th this is gonna be cool, but um. Yeah, the, the fact that people still recognize me 20 years later is mind-boggling to me, though, because I feel I look totally different, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. So what was it like working with Shia LaBeouf? Honestly, it, it, he, he, he's, a, he's definitely an actor's actor. He really keeps you on your toes, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's, it's, it's, you, you know, you think you know how the scene's going to go, and then he, he just throws like a mon monkey wrench in it for all the right reasons. You know, yeah. and it just adds that that amazing, you know, you know, in the moment spontaneity that you see in a lot of the scenes. Yeah. We didn't know what the scene was going to go. You know, we got to be on our toes, too. When's the last time you two talked? Honestly, like 
LA is a big city, but it's a small town. So, you know, we see each other, got it, you know, just freaking grocery store and shit, dude. It's oh, really? LA's a lot smaller town than people think. So. so you run into people all the time that you see on the big screen. Oh, yeah, dude. Honestly, it's being out in LA, we, we're kind of used to it, dude, because, you, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, it's them. Oh, oh. cool. And it just, you know, I don't know. You, you're just around it out here, and you just don't freak out because, you know, at the end of the day, we all put our pants on the same way, you know? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the, I'm from Central Florida, so I do have John Travolta. He lives about 20 minutes away from me, so I have ran into him a couple times, but not uh, it's not an everyday occurrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I, you know, I'd probably, I'd probably still freak out if I saw Johnny Travolta. Travolta, man. I might do some little staying alive little move there for sure. Yeah. But um, he's, he's a really cool dude, man. I I ran into him and his wife, Kelly Preston, a few times. So um, so do you have a favorite episode? Favorite episode? Um honestly, the first one was really cool. I, I got a couple, dude. Like honestly, the first one was really cool just because um obviously it was the first time doing the show. And then, like, I got to do, like, a kind of cool stunt. I got to, like, rappel down from the ceiling during that. Yeah. And here's, here's like, a little behind-the-scenes info, right? This was – we shot this 2000 – in 2000, okay? So this is 20 years ago. There was still a lot of, like, child safety labor stuff on there. But yeah. the way we did the pulley system, right, it was – I don't know if it would, ha- it would happen like this today. Let's just say this. It was two guys holding a rope on a pulley system. You know, on like some little <laughs> thing like this, and two, yeah. two, two grips just lowering me down and lowering me back up. Like there were mats and stuff for, for like some of it, but then you know you had to shoot down where you know you don't see a mat. Yeah. You know? And I, 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 you know, so um, yeah, I, I don't know if it would go down like that anymore, but those were the golden years, brother. Memories, memories. So you know, you've worked with. Huge names over the years, such as Will Ferrell, Martin Lawrence, Steve Martin, Josh Hutchinson, Mike Myers, many of them. The list goes on and on. Out of all the movies and shows you've been a part of, which has been your favorite and why? God, I still got to go back to Even Stevens because, like, I worked on it since I was I was eight years old. I, I was on the show, and then we, we filmed the movie when I was 13, right? So that's, you know, five years consistently of working with, like, the same people and you know you know you just you just bond with people working with yeah. them for five years, make creating so it's kind of cool um but like honestly it was it was really cool to work with will ferrell too because yeah. he's he's another guy where man honestly there's probably about five hours of on un- uh, on air just golden footage that we shot that just never made the movie because Will Ferrell is another one that's just on. And with him, how you direct Will Ferrell, you just let the freaking cameras roll, man. And, uh, and genius happens. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah, that had to be a heck of an experience, man, being on set with him. Oh, yeah. He's a cool guy. He's, he's one of the he's, – he's an actor because, you know – I'm not going to name names. You know, we, I'm sure we've all heard stories of actors being assholes and, you know, egos. But Will yeah. is not like that one bit, dude. He, he he eats lunch with the cast and crew every single day. You know, will go up to people and ask them about their day. Just strike up normal freaking conversations, dude. Not, there's no ego with Will at all, you know. That's awesome. That is awesome. So it seems like from 1999 to 2006, you were the comedic kid actor i always had the funny kid roles in many of the big movies but it seemed like in the middle of all the fame and attention you were you were getting you kind of stepped back a little bit was there a point in your life you stepped away from acting to focus on something else yeah um both my parents actually got cancer and and, and passed to that so you know like the way i was raised you know my dad and i were really close so for me you know family comes before everything you know So, yeah, I did. I stopped working to take care of my dad, you know, you know, hospice, you know, it takes a lot out of you and stuff for sure. Yeah. Be real. Yeah. I I read I read somewhere that you and your dad were close and um, I was too close to my father who happened to pass a year and a half ago. And um, yeah, man, I'm sorry to hear that as well. I know that's hard losing a parent, man. It's it kind of 
it changes you a little bit. And it's, it's one of those things that you don't fully heal from, you know, and to, you lost both your parents. Um, you know, I, I can't imagine, man. So my, uh, and condolences to you. Well, I appreciate that, brother. You know, I appreciate that. You know, it's just one of those things, man. It, you know, you, that whole time heals, heals all wounds. Slogan. Mm-hmm. It, you know, and th- those are wounds that, that just never heal. But, you know, t- time helps. You know, you know, you know, you always miss them, but you find new things to, you know, excite you and stimulate you, your life. You know, new yeah. things to you know, find joy in. That's good, man. Yeah. And I'm sure they're extremely proud of you, man. So, um, yeah, just keep your head up, you know? Uh, so what, what's next for Steven? Should we expect to see you back on the big screen anytime soon? Oh, that'd be nice, bro. Uh, that'd be nice. But you know, given this whole coronavirus stuff, I'm not even thinking about that, man. Honestly, uh, what I'm really focusing on right now is just, you know, uh, acting lessons, just passing on what I know to the next generation. You know, mm. so, you know, and you can always do that on my Facebook or Instagram. Get that little plug in there. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. What is it? Just your name? Tell them your username. Yeah. Uh, on my uh, Facebook, it's uh, Stephen Lawrence one. And I think Instagram, it's at find my chin, I believe. If you search my Instagram, Stephen Anthony Lawrence, you'll find it. It's a picture of a stage on Instagram or no, a picture of a stage on Facebook for the piano. Mm. And, uh, you know, you, you'll, you'll find it. It's pretty easy. It's the only one that looks le- legit. There's a couple posers, but, you know, there's, you know, you'll, you'll find it. It's the one that looks legit. Okay. It's not the ones with the, the face of you when you were six years old. No, years. no, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> so what, what's some advice, while we wrap it up, what's some advice you could give to someone wanting to pursue the acting field? Boy, man, nowadays it's so different from when I started, dude. Honestly, um, just start creating your own stuff, dude. Um, there's so many avenues, you know, uh, that, you know, I probably have yet to even be just explored. Um, you know, YouTube, man. Um, definitely get in a good good acting class, for sure. Get it, preferably Shakespeare. If you can do Shakespeare, you can do anything, brother. Um, I'm kind of a theater snob, to be honest. So that's my, you oh, know, really? slogan. But, um, yeah, honestly, um, you know, find out what you love, uh, find out who you look up to and kind of look, look who their teachers were, you know, look where they studied. That's good advice, man. Well, man, I, I appreciate you taking some of your quarantine time to sit down and chat with me, man. And I was a fan of yours growing up watching you on TV and I'm a fan of yours now. And I look forward to seeing what all the future holds for you. Hey, my pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Yes, sir. Have a good one, man. Hey, back at you, brother. Peace.